How to get your dog started on Doggy Fun. First, set aside some time for you, your dog, and for Doggy Fun. Your dog might be curious or maybe even a little frightened at first, but that's perfectly normal. That's because your dog isn't used to the machine yet and needs some time to become familiar with the Doggy Fun. Use bits of food or treats as rewards and place them near the Doggy Fun to draw them closer to the machine. Roll the ball back and forth in front of your dog. By doing so, you'll help build your dog's interest in the launching machine and the ball and help them to become more familiar with everything. There are a few easy ways to train your dog and help them to learn how to retrieve the ball. At first, your dog might not listen to you and might be easily distracted. If you want to avoid losing control of your dog, you can first put them on leash and use rewards to encourage your dog to retrieve the ball. But if your dog doesn't retrieve the ball, make sure you don't fall for those puppy dog eyes and give them a reward each time. It's best to reward them only if they are able to retrieve the ball. And when your dog does retrieve the ball, don't forget to give them their reward. Once your dog is able to properly retrieve the ball, we can now use a few simple tricks to teach them to put the ball down at your command. Use simple commands like drop or out and teach your dog that once they retrieve the ball and drop it, they'll get a reward. You might have to repeat these commands a few times until your dog is familiar with this process. Then you're ready to move on to the next step. Once your dog is able to retrieve and drop the ball at your command, you guys are now ready to start playing with the doggy fun. Use the command you taught them earlier and point to the feeding chute so they learn where to drop the ball. At this point, we want to reward them when they drop the ball in the right place, not just when they simply drop the ball. Once your dog can consistently drop the ball into the doggy fun and has got that trick down, it means that you don't have to give any more commands. Your dog is now free to play on their own. To keep your dog interested and engaged with the doggy fun, make sure you keep training lessons to a max of three times a day, each time no more than 10 minutes. Even if your dog isn't able to immediately get to where you want them to be, don't lose your cool and make sure you stay patient and loving.